Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl, and my sidekick, Miss Kalua, <clears throat> excuse me, happens to be in the other room right now, having herself a little bit of a snack. I hope everyone is doing well. I am having a fairly decent day today. Um, I've been out moving around. I was sitting outside for a while. I'm actually propped up in a regular chair right now. Um, and I'm feeling fairly decent. So what I thought I would do is a Dollar Tree haul for all of you. I have a few items to share with you. Um, these are new in my location, in my area. Um, if they are repeats, because I am so far behind, I do apologize for that. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a couple of the scunchy items. Scunchy has been around for many, many years. This is something I've really never seen before. It's called Get the Look Double Hairband. And from what it looks like to me, that you're able to pull off this type of a style. Now, I can say that the band itself is pretty thick. Um, you get the two of them, and then if I pull it out some and spin it around, there is the other part of the band. So I'm not sure, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not sure exactly <clears throat> how this works, but it just says no slip grip, split headband for secure hold, one volume tool and one elastic. So evidently in the back of the box here, there's something else inside the back of that box, but for $1, I definitely thought it was worth the buy. <clears throat> Just not sure what happened. My throat was fine and now it's like all froggy. I then found some more scunchy and these are bobby pins. And what I really liked about these the most, besides getting a fairly decent count of 24, I noticed that you get gold, silver, and rose gold. I'm hoping that you can see that on screen. I'm pretty sure you can. Again, the rose, the silver, and the, excuse me, the gold, the silver, and the rose gold. Uh, rose gold is one of my favorite colors. I absolutely love it. So I thought this was pretty cool. I like the way they did the design on the package doing the triangle. It definitely made the package pop out. Last but not least for Scunchy, this is an 18 count package of their elastic bands. And then you get a little bonus right here that's attached to it. I use these headband, well actually I have one in my hair right now. I use these all the time. I mean they are, it, I probably have like 200 of these in a container. But yet, every time I'm looking for one, I can't find one. I have them in my purse, in the car, in other people's cars, in other people's purses. And yet, it never fails that when I really need one, I can't find one. So when I see them, I buy them. Okay, I have so many different things. Right now, I believe one of the items that's really hot to trot are these new excuse me here i'm trying just to bend a little um are these new eyeglass pouches and these are so adorable i got my hands on as many as i could to share with you because there's like i think there's like 10 or 12 different patterns anyways this is what they look like so the first one i found and where is bear with me one second oh. reaching for rizzo okay so these are eight inches by three and a half inches. It's a standard size for a pair of glasses or sunglasses. The design is on the front and on the back. And what I love about these, these are the ones that you just squeeze the side and they pop open because it's got like that metal in there. And then you just pop your glasses in. How cute is something like this? You could pop this open and say you were doing a themed part. I was just looking for something that I could put in there right off the top of my head. But if you were doing a, a themed party, you know, you could put somebody's lay inside of there and let it hang out and use it as a presentation on a table. Um, I just believe that when you spend as much money as you do on glasses and sunglasses, to toss them in something to keep them, you know, protected is the way to go. This one here does say across every now and then it says pineapple. It looks like crush, but it could be crunch. I'm going to say crush. I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to tell with that type of writing. So 
There was the first design I found. The second one, they're all the same size and they're all got that clickable opening. There is the Flamingo. And so happy they did the front and the back the same. Then they had this one here, which has roller skates and popsicles and pineapples and just all kinds of fun stuff. There's the back. Then they had this one here, which I assume are supposed to be cactuses of some sort. This is really pretty. The camera's not really doing this much, much justice. There's really all kinds of pretty purples and lavenders and pinks. So that was that one. Make sure I don't have any duplicates here. Uh, I do have one duplicate. This one here is done with a white background and it has the ice cream and watermelon and waffle cones, which are my favorite cherries and this just screams summer and then last but not least and i know there's more designs but these were the only ones that i saw this one here i just i think this one's like my favorite right now if they had a unicorn one it would be that but i haven't seen that yet this one's all done with pink and then it's got ice cream cones waffle cones it's just got all those I'm going to try to, this reminds me of, now I'm really going back to my childhood here and showing my age. Do you remember the little cones? And then on top, it was like this marshmallow. It wasn't real hard and it wasn't real soft. Do you all remember those cones? They came individually wrapped. You could, well, back in my day, you could get like three of them, you know, for a quarter. Um, but do you guys remember? I don't remember their exact name, but they're the little ice cream cone. It's not really ice cream. It just has marshmallow on there. If you guys remember, hit me up down below. I'd be interested to see if anybody remembers that. Um, staying in the motif of, excuse me, I, I have to bend again. And you know, I took your all advice and I looked for one of those grabbers and they didn't have any at the store that I stopped at. So I wasn't able to get a grabber. So I'm kind of using between Kahlua, my ruler, I have a pair of tongs for the barbecue that I've been using. Too funny. Okay, so I came across some of these coin purses and there's some different versions out here. I'm not sure what's new and what's not to be very honest with you. So I grabbed what was new to me. Now, these are zippered cases. They are four inches by three and a half inches. Here is the very first one. And look, you even get a little pretty tassel to go with it. So here is the first one. You got a rainbow there with your little island and your fishies. It's same on the front and back. A black zipper. And then the inside of your coin purse. Is that adorable? Oh my God, it's just too cute. So I found one in this design. I have no idea how many designs there are or how many there are. I just grabbed what I saw. The next one is this llama. And there she is. And then there's a little baby llama on top. This one also has a cute little pink tassel. Same on the front and the back. And then the black zipper. The other one in this design I found has rainbows on it and I was really happy to see the purple tassel. <laughs> um, so this one is rainbows. Again, your black zipper top and the rainbows are on the opposite side as well. So that was cool. And then right next to them, they had these change purses that are completely different. So let me show you what I found here. I only found three patterns in total on this one. The first one, and they're calling it basically, and I just dropped something, I cannot believe it, and my tongs are in the other room. Oh my gosh, okay. These are change purses, coin purses, they're calling them coin purses, but these have the metal that you twist the little top. All these are so precious. Look at that little mermaid. Look at her colors, pink and purple. It's the same on the front and the back. These measure, three and a half inches by three inches. So they're done with the silver tone, so you just pop it open. We all know, and then here's some little fuzz they give you for free. 
So we'll take that out. And then there's the opening. Is this just adorable or I don't know, maybe it's me. This is just too cute. I found another pattern, but unfortunately that one's on the floor, so I can't show you that one, but I'll show you the third pattern. Let me get the fuzz out. Same size. This one, it's got cupcakes and little kitty cats, and it says sweet, then it says oops. Absolutely adorable. Here's the front and the back, and then it's got your twist opening right there. Cute, cute, but there's one on the floor I can't show you. And that one has unicorns on it. Oy vey. Okay, moving on. I came across something else that was um, like, oh no, I have to have one in every pattern because I'm just like that sometimes. All right, are you guys ready? <laughs> this made me smile. I haven't done a lot of smiling lately because... Life just sucks right now for a lot of reasons, but it could be worse. And this too shall pass, as my mom used to say. These, they are considered keychains. It's what says on the package. Now, there were several. I don't know if I got them all or not, but I got quite a few. This, these are done like in a rubber. You have a plastic hook that you just pinch. And then look at that beautiful fish with those sexy little lips going on. The design is not on the other side. It's not the end of the world, but you guys know how I feel about that. How cute for a luggage, backpack. You could do anything you want. Just because it has this type of a holder on there to make it attached to something doesn't mean that's what you have to use. So I found the one in the fish and from top to bottom, that's five inches. But if we just measured the fish itself, it's three by three in size. So there's the fish. I then found this rainbow. Isn't that adorable? Too cute, right? This whole haul is just too cute. This, I want to say, is a mermaid because look at how cute she is. And she's got her little star swimsuit top on. So I'm going to say that she is a mermaid. Then the next one, are you ready? Oh yeah, now I'm talking. You know I got more than one of these. This is the unicorn. Super, super cute. And like I said, you know, they're pliable. They're rubber, but they're a thick rubber. Then I found a cactus, which is just too adorable. Look at that little smiley face. Love it, love it. Then I found a different type of unicorn. Let me just fix her up here. Take a look at her. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, there's just so many things you could do. Let me see, I wanna say there was another, yep. Then we have the tree. Yes, the palm tree. Give me a margarita. Definitely, I could use about 20 of them. Have the pine tree that's done in the mint green and the yellow. I want to say there was one, yep, one other design. It just fell off the package and I'm not going to be able to reach it. Okay, so I'll have to show you that one later. It was the sun with sunglasses on, but um, yeah, I can't get it. I apologize, so we'll have to hold off on that one for a while. Okay, moving along. I found a few more of those keychains with the um, changeable sequence. So this I have here is a dolphin. And this dolphin is all done in purple. Or you could switch the dolphin to silver if you would like to. It comes on a silver tone ring. You can put them absolutely anywhere that you would like. So I have found the purple dolphin. I then found the blue dolphin, which to me, dolphins are blue, so they should be blue, but you know me in purple. And you can also switch this to silver if you would like. Then I actually got my paws. Uh, yeah. This one is multicolored. Now, I really like this one because there's all different kinds of colors on this one. This is a multicolored dolphin. So there you go. Last but not least, I found two more of the mermaid tails. And I really, really love that they did the front and the back. So here is the one in purple. 
Love it, love it. And then I found one in multicolor, which I was so pleased to find. I think these are just so cute. Like I said, I feel like this whole entire haul is just nothing but cuteness. And it really made me feel good to be able to find some stuff that made me smile because it's been a rough week and a half since surgery. Okay, you guys know me and you know my pens. And if you could probably see in the background, you can see a lot of my stuff, my pens and things like that on my desk. But as I'm checking out, this girl was unloading a box and I went, whoa, so, you know, back up the bus. These are cute. These are called fun pens. They measure 10 inches. They write in black only, but look at that. Is that pretty or what? So it's kind of puffy. And normally you're going to hear me moan because they didn't do the backside. Well, I think they could have done something different, but hey, you know, that's just my opinion. But what they did do is they made the back like a butterfly. So I was cool with that. So here's the pen, which is in blue. And then there is the flower, which is, like I said, it's all puffy. The flower itself, just to give you an idea, is two and a half inches. So it's not a small pen. It's very thin. It's a thin pen, but it's a long pen as well. So I found the flower. There's several um, different ones. So I found the flower. And then I came across this one, which is all done in purple and pink. I came across a heart. Isn't that pretty? And on the back of this one is a pink butterfly. I also came across an actual butterfly. <laughs> so this one is done like in a red and this is all done in pinks. And there's just, they basically all have the same type of backgrounds, which is like pinks, yellows, blues, and the colors really pop. The camera does not really do them much justice. But this one has an orange butterfly on the back. I then came across this one is in the shape of a star. It's like a little magic wand. Again, it's done, this one is done in purple. Again, they do all right in black. Again, these are very thin. So, you know, they're long and just very thin. So here's the star with a purple butterfly on the back. And let me just fix her. We know they had to have a flamingo. So there's the flamingo, which is done also in the purple and has a purple butterfly in the back. And you know they had to do a mermaid tail, right? So there it is. Oh, mermaid tails, pineapples, um, flamingos are just the rage right now, no matter where you go. So this one is done in a blue tone and then has a blue butterfly on the back. These are just so cute. Last but not least, I found two unicorns in their two different styles. So here is the first style. This one is done in a pink pen on the outside. Again, they all write in black. Then there is the unicorn. And then there's the pink butterfly. And last but not least, and I think I like this one the most. Um, first of all, it's purple and it's a unicorn. And I just love this one. It's so adorable. I think it's just so cute. This one happens to have a purple butterfly on the back. So I do actually have a few more items. I cannot believe it, but I really want to show you the things that fell on the floor, but I'm not able to like, get down there and just get it really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up for now. I think I did pretty good. I'm actually a little sore because my, for breathing, it's still hard to take a regular normal breath. So I apologize if I take these like short brief gasps for air. It's just that it's hard to expand uh, my lungs at this point. I can't really just expand them by breathing a normal breath, if that makes any sense. I want to say thank you to all of those that have been sending me mail. Um, I have another mail pickup, I think, on Friday or Thursday. For those of you that have been sending Get Well cards and my birthday cards, my birthday is not until June 30th, but thank you to all of you that have sent me birthday cards. That is like 
just awesome. And they mean the world to me. Your get well cards, your notes, your letters. I don't know what I would do without all of you. You're definitely helping me with this healing process and with what I've been going through. And that means the world to me. And I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I will be doing a happy mail, friend mail um, soon. As you know, I have to take one day at a time right now, but I promise when I can get in front of this camera, I am so there. You will not be able to keep me away because I miss you all so very much. Love to all of you. Please be well. Until next time, everyone. Bye-bye for now.